Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Seasonal Storm. My name is Jess, and today it's all about the late spring, early summer transition. My theme is ranch style decor, which is full of bright colors, natural themes, a lot of natural imagery, and the use of items that we see all the time on working ranches all over the Western hemisphere. So in this video, I'm not only showing you some decorate with me's, such as redoing this space and concealing hard to hide items, but also DIYs, including, but not limited to this rope wreath and even a hat wreath. If that interests you, I hope that you stick along and come along for the ride. Thanks for coming. So we're gonna get started with this rope wreath. Now these are really popular on Instagram and I've actually made some of these for some friends' weddings, but I decided I wanted to put one up in my house. So first things first, we figured out where to put our nail and we cleaned our wall. I've got a lot more cleaning to do, but we're just not gonna talk about that here. And as you'll see, I'm taking some big bouquet picks and I'm separating them. And now I'm gonna add some smaller picks as well. Now, yeah, there is a lot of color happening, but that's kind of my theme for late spring and early summer. It's just a big, bright punch of color. Thinking about the very limited holidays, but the days that people like to celebrate in the late spring and early summer, we think about a lot of barbecues and outdoor events, Cinco de Mayo, you know, if that's something that you celebrate, um, and just, all these really fun floral events so having multiple colors i think is really appropriate for this time of the year which you'll see above my kitchen cabinets we're going to do a big new floral display here too i've added this old photo by gary love of the wild horses apparently my camera started tilting at some point and we're going to take some of those same blue paint or blue purple and yellow picks and separate them all out as well and i'm adding in a few little touches of pinks and some touches of reds um, to bring together all the colors throughout the inside of my home and here is the finished product now i did use a time lapse for those ones because it was a very long lengthy project and it was just easier to speed them up now for my bathroom we're going to do a similar color scheme we're adding some yellows and some more oranges in here as well, just because my bathroom doesn't have any natural windows. And I feel like it's very dark in here. So I'm using some older cowboy boots from my collection that I'm not currently wearing. Most of these have holes in the bottom of them or other damage, and I can't take them to get fixed right now. So I'm using them as vases. And then in this wire basket, I'm adding some eucalyptus and some single stem white rose picks. And then I'm gonna dump a bunch of my lemons into the bottom of this basket just for another bright, unexpected pop of farmhouse color. I feel like the farmhouse trend has really removed a lot of the fun and color from people's homes and ranch and Western decor really embraces that, which is why we have so many bright pops of color in all of these unexpected spaces. And most of my traditional bathroom horse decor and paintings have stayed put. Um, so we're just gonna leave those where they are. And moving into this tiny little corner, um, I have these three funny little shelves here and I like to just pack these with decor as well. And I know that having all this color is probably not for everyone, but it does make the space feel a lot brighter and happier. And this is the family bathroom. Everyone uses this bathroom and it makes everyone feel really included to have little elements of the things that they're interested in decorating this space. So <laughs> there comes Sterling. I'm doing this voiceover about a week after I actually filmed this, so it's kind of funny to go back and look. Okay, so these little tiny pictures. So the barn on top, this cactus, which is really the theme for my entire spring decor, I'm not even joking. And this horse that I'm gonna show you guys, oh, well, not yet, but I will show you the horse that I got too, um, all came from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree's photos and art are actually really great this year. So if you need to add some bright new colors, feel free to stop into there and check things out. Um, it just completely dressed this space up. Now the apothecary jar that I have up above, my mom got years ago for me, I think at um, maybe like Bed Bath & Beyond or something, but the lid actually cracked, so now I use it as a little vase. And then these are all crystals that my bonus baby found, and she likes to put them in our bathroom to decorate and make her own little scenes. Um, so I'm replacing them from where they were earlier in case you're wondering why I have a giant collection of rocks. They're really special to her and therefore they're special to me too. 
that little sign that I love you more than the dog. I've had that for years, but honestly, it's, that's how you know I love you. The S bar J are our initials and our brand. And then we have our little tiny um, tre not treasure. What am I saying? I'm so tired. Has anyone else having one of those weeks where they're just exhausted? This little tiny potion bottle. There we go. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put that. And I have a little grizzly bear hanging off it because bears have always been really special to me. And he goes with me everywhere. And I'm adding some more of these white rose picks. I have so many of these that I picked up at a thrift store. And I'm separating the daisies from the roses because I want them to kind of stand on their own. I'm going to go ahead and fill this little apothecary with all of my roses and the little uh, potion bottle with the daisies. And then in that heart-shaped bottle below, I'm gonna end up putting a lemon in there. And that's because lemons and farm themes um, are a big part of my overall theme for summer. And bringing a few little lemons and other elements of the Southwest into my bathroom for the summer, springtime, etc., just kind of brings it all together. There's our lemon pick. I got that one on clearance at Walmart for 10 cents. Does anyone remember that from a past video? So anyway, we're gonna take our finishing little touches with our carnations and our roses and make a cute little display there. And here they are all together. How cute, that little footprint was made by my bonus baby, she's so adorable. Okay, so we have two more little Dollar Tree wash laundry style signs and those are just going above the sink and where our washing machines are. I am keeping up my blue blessed cross because why not? And then here is a super quick DIY. I'm taking calendar pages from a Dollar Tree farmhouse calendar, and I'm going to go ahead and literally tape them onto these glass door windows. And I got this idea as soon as I took apart the piece of furniture that these came off of. These were broken by the dog, actually, and so they were falling off, and I just decided to remove them and realized that they would be such a cute little art piece. So there you go with them up in their special spot. I know this is kind of unexpected and you wouldn't really expect to see, you know, some chickens and a little baby sheep with the daffodils, but I felt like the colors and themes in the pictures really tied in with the rest of our ranch house, farmhouse type theme and brought in some extra color to break up that gigantic white wall, especially because you can see over there when you're in the shower. So once more, now I wish they did fill out the frame better, but unfortunately I just had to work with what I have. I might custom paint some things though for those at a later date. This next little space is right by the entrance to our bedrooms and I am concealing some really large pieces, specifically a fire extinguisher, the temperature control, which we will no longer have to use this season because it is hot here all of a sudden, and um, a fire alarm. Now, don't worry, I did check with my friends who install fire alarms. As long as the cover to the fire alarm has some ventilation or the smoke detector, I should say, excuse me, it should be okay. So that picture I posted first is one that I actually took and is really special in our household. Um, it's from a bucking horse practice that Sterling has coached at before. And then his favorite rodeo book, coffee table book, I went ahead and set on that special little easel to help conceal the fire extinguisher. I added two topiaries that I got from the thrift store that were $6 together. I'm adding a special picture of my poppy girl, rest in peace, I miss her a lot. And then I'm adding this cute little word sign and a few extra funny touches such as these cowboy boots one of Sterling's old bells from his bull rope. And then lastly, something maybe a little unexpected, this little eagle or hawk foot that was given to us by a family friend that now lives there. And here we go. Okay, so to cover our fire alarm up there, I need something breathable. So I can't put anything big or heavy over the top of it, which is why I'm choosing to use one of Sterling's retired cowboy hats. And we're gonna make a really quick floral arrangement. So I've grabbed a handful of picks and I've already folded them and separated them just like you saw earlier in the video. And I've also grabbed a pack of zip ties. Now you can totally use pipe cleaners. Um, I happen to get a ton of zip ties on clearance at Walmart for literally like 10 cents. So I've stocked up and um, these are great too because you can cut them out. But also if you do decide to arrange outside, these are probably sturdier than your pipe cleaners are gonna be and are gonna give you more security. So the first thing first, if you're arranging with a cowboy hat, does it throw things on the floor? Um, you want to make sure that you have these ventilation holes to go ahead and poke through. And I have my hat ready. I've got my zip ties. Next, I'm going to show you really quick. We're going to put our greenery 
on the bottom. So I have some hooks behind me, you guys can't see them. But I've taken my Dollar Tree greenery pick. Now this one's gonna look a little sparse and that's because I've actually chopped a bunch of the leaves off of this one and used them for other projects. So this one has seen better days, but we're gonna fold the big stem back and we're going to spread, and I'm actually gonna use this like little free wire to twist this in. And anything that looks kind of iffy is going to get covered. Go ahead and spread out your greenery as much as possible. So here's where we're starting. Next, I'm going to take my darker but bigger uh, floral pieces and I just have some lilacs and we're gonna look for where needs the most volume. So this side is really thick with volume and this is longer. So to cover this longer side, I'm gonna put my three on this side and my two remaining on this side. I'm going to go ahead and alternate that. And the lilacs do shed quite a bit, so be advised that you will be dealing with some fallout. So next, we have these ones in. Now, you're gonna have to keep picking up your hat to kind of check your distancing. You wanna keep spreading things out. You can always condense things again. I just like to start with everything really spread out so I can see it the best. But if you grab your hat, you hold it the way it's gonna be hanging on the wall, so it'll be like this. And I'm gonna be putting it on this inside corner side. You can see that that with just the greenery and the purple is very wildflower-like and really subtle. Actually, I'm gonna ask someone's opinion. You think I should add the red or just leave it like this? Add the red. So we're gonna go ahead and add another floral pick on top. So we're gonna grab these red carnations and that's because my summer colors, my spring into summer colors are really bright and punchy. I've thrown as much color as possible everywhere. So once more, we're gonna go ahead and do our folding trick. And because this one is pretty much even, we're gonna go ahead and lay it like this. And as you can see, we've got two sides. And I'm gonna curl these carnations out a little bit, kind of give them some movement. Cause you don't want this to be too perfect. I mean, we're going for like this kind of wildflowery look. So we have this going. And then lastly, I have this little thistle pick and I'm going to split this three and two as well. Again, fold down the middle like so. And I'm gonna lay this on top. And we can, of course, rearrange once we've got our zip ties on. But this is kind of our general idea. So, we're gonna take our zip ties. I'm doing this with one hand, so this could get a little messy. We'll see what happens. And on top, we're gonna zip tie these together first, and then we're gonna zip tie them to the hat. So, just go ahead and somewhere somewhat discreet amongst the greenery. That's why I'm using green. Um, make sure you pull as many of your leaves out as possible though. You want the most greenery available. And you are gonna cut these down. So if you see that, just ignore it. And then I do plan to add a bow or something to this big middle open section. So if it's looking a little bare, it's cause we're not done yet. grab our hat again we know we're going to be putting these here see how your flowers cascade more so on the opening side of the hat and not around the round of it so I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you where but it's gonna be a little bit high up where we're attaching these because of that, I might give a little bit of slack. So give me one second. Okay, so now that we've run our zip tie through, around, and inside, and we've tightened it as far as it'll go, that's kind of what it's going to look like hanging right here. So now we just need to conceal this section. So before I go ahead and attach 
This is kind of what I'm going for, which is a really simple concealing loop. Kind of looks like a cause ribbon. Um, and that's again, just because we didn't need something, you know, really over the top here, just a little pop of color. Okay, so I ixnayed the chevron and I only kept the blue. And as you can see, it just looks like it's kind of blooming out of the side of this hat. I think it's so sweet and it's gonna look perfect up on top of our display. So as you can see here, there's my smoke detector on the wall and our ventilation holes are gonna face outwards. We're gonna hang it right on top of that. And the colors really blend well with that photo down below as well as the colors and some of the pictures on the wall and some of his back numbers that are hanging there as well. I really hope that today's video provided you all if you're interested in ranch and western cowboy style decor with some fun and unexpected ideas. I know there are a lot of bright pops of color and that isn't for everyone but it's for us and I decorate with what I like to and I hope that you do as well and that it brings you as much joy as it brings me. If you're interested in seeing more content like this in the future, feel free to like, subscribe, and hey, even comment down below and let me know what type of things you'd like to see me produce in future videos. Thanks for watching.